Hey guys, welcome to another Visual Learner Studios video. Today, we will be learning the main classes of diuretics and the specific drugs within each class. A diuretic is any substance that induces the production of urine from the body. In medicine, diuretics are used to treat a wide variety of conditions, including heart failure, hypertension, liver cirrhosis, and certain kidney diseases. There are five classes of diuretics that our visual mnemonic describes. Loop diuretics, thiazide diuretics, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, potassium sparing diuretics, and osmotic diuretics. Now, onto this epic picture. Okay, here's the backstory to help you remember the entire image. This badass Rambo chicken just saved these two innocent lambs that were held as prisoners in an enemy camp. The lambs were extremely malnourished and dehydrated, and that's why our Rambo chicken brought them here to the riverbank to drink. In the background, you can see the enemy camp, or what's left of it, which the Rambo chicken had just blew up. The first thing we want you to take notice of is the flowing river. This is to remind you that this picture has to do with diuretics. Now, moving on to the stars of the show, the diuretics themselves. First up are the loop diuretics. Loop diuretics act on the ascending loop of the nephron by inhibiting the reabsorption of sodium. As a result, sodium, along with water, is excreted in urine. The golden rule of thumb here is that water goes wherever sodium goes. The most classic loop diuretic is furosemide. This is represented by the massive semi-automatic rifle held by a Rambo chicken. When you look at the word furosemide, you see the words fur and semi. Semi is represented by the semi-automatic rifle, whereas fur is represented by the furry cheetah skin pattern on the middle of the rifle. Next up are the thiazide diuretics. Thiazide diuretics act on the distal convoluted tubule of the nephron by inhibiting the sodium chloride symporter. The result is retention of sodium and chloride along with water in the tubule and it is all excreted in the urine. Now, when you think of thiazide diuretics, we want you to think about chicken thighs. That's where all our examples of thiazide diuretics are located. Each thigh represents an example. On the left is bendroflumathiazide, shown by a bent thermometer that you would use when you have the flu. Bendroflumathiazide. On the right, Rambo chicken's thigh is replaced by a fire hydrant. This is representing hydrochlorothiazide. The hydrant will remind you of hydro and hydrochlorothiazide. The last example is the metal plate between the two thighs, representing metallozone. We wrote zone on the metal plate, signifying this is a metal zone. Metal zone, metallozone. And because it's in between the two thighs of the chicken, it is also a thiazide diuretic. Next, we have carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. These drugs inhibit the enzyme carbonic anhydrase, which is found in the proximal convoluted tubule of the nephron. The result is retention of bicarbonate and potassium in the urine and a decrease in sodium reabsorption. Examples of drugs in this class are acetazolamide and methazolamide. Now, when you think of the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, we want you to remember these lambs because the similarity in these names is that they both contain lamide at the end. We also put something on the lambs that reminds you of the beginning of the drug name. Acetazolamide is represented by the lamb with the ace of spades on his body and methazolamide is represented by the lamb chilling on the ground smoking a meth pipe. Unfortunately, this little guy got addicted to meth while being held as a prisoner. Another class are the potassium sparing diuretics. As his name suggests, the overall effect of these diuretics is that it spares potassium from being excreted and keeps it in the body. Within this class of diuretics, there are two subtypes that act in different places. The first are aldosterone antagonists. Aldosterone usually adds sodium channels to the collecting duct and distal tubule of the nephron allowing for sodium reabsorption. Aldosterone antagonists compete with aldosterone and block their ability to enter the nephron to add sodium channels. The end result is decreased sodium reabsorption. Examples include spironolactone and eplanerone. Spironolactone is represented by the spiral barbed wire running across the river. Spironolactone, spiral wire. Eplanerone is represented by the word epic written into the rock behind the river. Not only does this remind you of how epic this picture is, but more importantly, it reminds you of a plenarone. The second subtype are epitheliosodium channel blockers. These drugs block the sodium channels in the apical epithelial cells of the kidney, so that the sodium is unable to be reabsorbed. An example is amylaride, which is represented by the water mill. Amylaride, mill. The last class of diuretics are the osmotic diuretics. These substances are filtered through the glomerulus, but the kidney is unable to reabsorb them. As a result, these diuretics increase the osmolarity of the urine and draws water into the tubules to be excreted with the urine. This whole process is through the simple mechanism of osmosis, hence the name. 
An example of osmotic diuretics is mannitol, and this is represented by the mana bar in the top right of the picture. Being the geeks that we are here at Visual Learner Studios, we couldn't help but imagine this whole scenario as something out of a video game. That's why we envision Rambo Chicken as a lead character in this video game mission with the appropriate health and mana bars. So, mannitol, mana bar. Alright, so that's the five classes of diuretics. Let's run through a quick review. So, to begin with, the flowing water will remind you of the drug class diuretics. Within the diuretics, there are five categories. The first category is the loop diuretics, represented by the example furosemide. Furosemide, furry semi-automatic rifle. The next category are the thiazide diuretics. Examples include bendroflumethiazide, hydrochlorothiazide, and metolazone. Remember, all the thiazide diuretics are near the thighs of Rambo chicken. Bendroflumethiazide is represented by a bent thermometer when you have the flu. Hydrochlorothiazide is represented by a fire hydrant. Metolazone is the metal zone between the thighs. The third category are the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. Examples include acetazolamide and methazolamide, and these are represented by the lambs. Acetazolamide is the ACE lamb. Methazolamide is the meth smoking lamb. The fourth category are the potassium sparing diuretics. Examples include spironolactone, aplenarone, and amylaride. Spironolactone, spiral barbed wire. Eplenarone, epic. Amylaride, mill. The last category are the osmotic diuretics. An example is mannitol. Mannitol, manabar of Rambo chicken. Well, that concludes our video on diuretics, folks. Remember, this is just a study aid, so you must always read additional material to supplement your knowledge. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for all the latest updates. Happy studying!